Hey, I'm Elsa, and this is Baron, and we live in a 13-foot scamp. This is the scamp. It's from 1988. We got it an hour south of Canada and Minnesota. It was 3,700 bucks. It's fiberglass that's like flashing, holds the whole thing together and gives it its structural integrity and that's how it can be so light. This is where we get our power. It comes straight out of the house and straight into the scamp. Um, we just have it broken up inside into a little, a little splitter. It's set up for propane and electric through the battery. We gutted all the propane stuff though in favor of electric and we're gonna do any like propane heating or cooking modularly. A happy little mountain. This is the interior of the scamp. How tall is it? I don't know. It's shorter than me and I taller than six, you. Six foot tall? Six feet? I can stand Ish. up. It feels like 5'11 to me, but that might be because it's Boeing. I can stand up. Baron can't stand up. Over here, we call this our guest house. This bench area opens up into a bunk bed. So it'd be really nice if we were traveling with some friends. Baron can fit lengthwise across the whole entire thing. Underneath this bench on both sides, we have storage. And under here is where the compost toilet is supposed to go. We are currently storing shoes and our tank drum. This area in other models is a bathroom and a closet. And we were looking for scamps that didn't have the bathroom because the space just opens up so much without it. And we wouldn't really want to be using a bathroom right just three feet away from our bed anyway, and this works great for us. This is the kitchen area. We have these cabinets that our friend Chelsea made for us. And up inside of here we've got oils and just some little things, some tea stuff, and our dishes, and lots and lots of coconut oil. When we got the scamp, it had a two burner stove connected to the propane tank. We decided to take it out Oh my god, camp! <laughs> Hello? Jump up. It also has a sink, and the water system is a pump system that comes from a giant water tank that's right underneath Baron. Uh, we took that out too because it was old and it was dirty, and what we're currently using is this camelback for water. Super high pressure. <laughs> We're also using this guy for water if we need to fill up our water heater for some water or water bottles or camp's water. And that works surprisingly well. How often do you think we fill it up? Um, we probably fill it up like <laughs> nice here. <laughs> we probably fill it up once every three days, maybe. Depends on how thirsty we are. We have an electric water heater. This is how we heat up water for coffee and for tea. We've recently realized that box wine is a much greater deal than bottled wine for people who don't know a whole lot about wine. We keep a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables up here so that we remember to eat all of it. Right next to it, we have a little compost pile. In the food below, we have a whole bunch of nuts and a bunch of canned fish for camp. We try to eat a really protein dense diet because we don't have a fridge, we don't really have an oven, so we have to eat very nutrient rich things. We've got a mini trash can right down here. And something that we use every day is our magic bullet. The magic bullet is totally a lifesaver in here. I make bulletproof coffee in this. We make smoothies, hummus, all kinds of stuff. The whole system runs off of currently like house power, like just your, I think it's 120 volt. And we have a 20 amp breaker right there. So the idea is that this breaker will flip if we're pulling too much current before the one in the house will, so that we can just flip it here instead. We run the magic bullet, the heater, uh, the burner, all of these things off of it, and we just have to be careful about how much amperage we're pulling so that we don't flip the breaker. So we'll, like run the heater on low and the burner on low if they're on at the same time or whatever we have to do. The lights, we have a strip of LEDs. I think they're just cheap Ikea LEDs right here and right here. We'll get those figured out so that they like, are nice in the future. And then our main light is this LifeX bulb up here. 
You can get those for like 45 bucks now on Amazon. I think it's the Gen 2. They're super badass. And we have a little splitter that comes out here so we can like use them for whatever we need. We normally keep our like iPads and computers even kind of tucked into the sides here. This is our master bedroom. As you can see, there's plenty of headroom. Um, I believe it's a California King bed. <laughs> There's, you know, plenty of space for like at least six or eight people. We normally sleep with just two though. We have a lot of people who come and hang out in here. Our record is 15 people. 15 people in my house. Holy cow. Look at them all. Four people up here or so, and then two or three in the guest house. And then if we're really piled in, then somebody brings out the bean bag or the little rolly chair, and then we can. Uh, I keep my clothes under here. We've had to get rid of a lot of stuff, but it's really nice having a whole lot less stuff. Most of our windows open, so that's good for airflow. And we also have this sunroof guy up here, but he broke so Baron fixed him with a chopstick. This is our walk-in closet. Plenty of room for like at least 10 shirts. We have been doubling things up on hangers so that we can like optimize space because there's really not much of it. We're trying to like slim down to where we each just have a couple shirts that we need to keep unwrinkled. Here's our vacuum. How is it being so tall in the scamp? I've been trying to like squat right so that I'm not just hunched over all the time. <laughs> because I don't feel like that's super good for my posture because combined with climbing and playing video games, it's not so good. So I made this guy. The idea is you kind of sit and then you can like rock around and like do all the things, um, whether I'm like making tea or cooking or whatever, you can sit on this guy and it works pretty well. We also have storage underneath these seats in this bench and the bench below me that we're currently using for tools, for snowboarding gear and miscellaneous stuff. And that is the basic tour of our scamp. We've been living in him for about three months now and plan to take it all over the place. The next step is put the tow hitch on the Mini Cooper and get that all wired in and That's see how right. that works. That's right, the Mini Cooper. We're gonna pull this thing with the Mini Cooper. We'll be making a bunch of other videos on the scamp. If you have any questions, leave them below and stay tuned for our next video.